Hello folks, I'm back on it. Ay, 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 ay. Right. It's alive, but it's alive with the caveats. I'm having... Sorry about that, wrong fucking card. I'm having, if this will focus in. Oh, come on, focus. There we go, that's about as good as it's gonna get. I'm having to use the wrong transistor in that location here. That should be a 450 and I'm having to use a 550 to get it to work. Now it's executing code fine and I've got power to the RAM, I've got everything running. It's just not running right, I think. What would happen with this if I left it like this is it wouldn't charge, oh now it decides to focus, it wouldn't charge the battery when power's off. And I've compared this to this card here and that should have a 450 on it and two 550s there, which it does. But this is having to have a 550 in here to get it to work. I'll show you what happens with it when you put the 450 in. Right. Oh, the magic is... Pause. There's a 450 tank back in. Oh, come on. Okay, thanks. The camera dropped there for a minute. Thanks to the pause button, we have got the right transistor in there now. Well, I'll show you that it doesn't work. I apologise for the focus. The focus has been having some serious issues with us today. That's focusing a wee bit better now. Ah, there we go. The autofocus was turned off for some reason. I didn't know you could do that with a phone camera. But it's, it, right, okay. You see there we've got a ZTX 450 in it now. And it's not... The, that should be the right one. There should be a 450 there and there's two 550s there. I've got two 550s there, I've got a 450 there and it's not working. I'll show you what happens. You see, we get a very, very dim reset LED. And it doesn't start. But watch what happens here when I cover, I think it's uh, these two here. running. So as far as the RAM and CPU is concerned, that's all fine. I just need to find out why putting the right transistor in causes it to go wrong. The minute you leave your finger out, it goes off. So I'll turn this off and I don't want to do any damage. Now, what's happening here? Well, I'll show you briefly again, hold on. Back on. What's happening here is got a low there, that's the emitter. We've got a low there on the base, but we've got a high here up on the collector. With a running board that shows a low. When you 
when you put the 550 transistor in there by mistake, you're because you've got a low there, the transistor's on, so you tie you tie this line to ground. All this does is tie a line to ground. So when you put the wrong transistor in there, with that being a high and the base being low, it runs. But what should happen is I apologize for the focus. What should happen if I get a pointer? I'll just use the logic pro. This transistor here should be biased on to tie this to ground. I think it's connected to this in some fashion. The base of this should be biased on to tie that to ground. And then that connects the supply through there, through these to turn this one on, which turns this one on, which gives you the reset. It's not. If that there's sitting at five volts, now the transistor's fine. The transistor's absolutely fine. But something's not right up here. For that to give five volts, that that I don't see how that can. I don't see how that can happen. There's nothing wrong with connectivity. If there was, the CPU wouldn't run. Something wrong with the way the signals are coming into this. And it's not a trace problem, the tracks are fine. I thought maybe one of these transistors up here was wrong. And causing mayhem, but no, I've compared to images of other cards and I've compared to other cards I've got and those are fine. It's just, by putting the 550 in here, it would run anyway. But then I think you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to charge the battery because with the wrong transistor in here, it doesn't switch these, allow these to switch over. Maybe. That's probably some, it's a confusing one. It's got me a little bit perplexed. I think one other thing I noticed that some of the these two transistors, these two points here, join them to the transistor here. These two points here are meant to have five volts on them, on them and they're not. They're floating about two and a half volts, but it's not a trace problem there either. And the transistors are brand new. I've changed this one twice. I've reinforced the traces between these pull-ups here. So why am I getting a high here when I should either get a low or a float? Hmm. Let's have a look at... Hmm, let's have a look at side by side. Just, if I just lay these over here, I just want to compare something. And I think doing that just solves the jigsaw puzzle straight away. If I just carefully sit this on top of this one. Not balance. Just try and balance it like that. Right, I think doing that has just solved the jigsaw puzzle. See if I count along, this is the working card on the bottom. Two, three, the diode here. Remember that one? One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a diode seven points along on the working card. This is the card with proper 450 in there and two 550s here. Right, the card we're working on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll just double check that one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and that 
we have a diode here where we're meant to have a resistor. Yeah, you see it on the bottom here. Look, we've got D3 R10 here. And on this one here, that's meant to be D3, and one of these is meant to be R10. And they're reversed. And that would cause absolute chaos. That would give us a high here because we were meant to have a diode. We've just got a resistor and it's just pulling it up to 5 volt. It's going to cause absolute mental mayhem. So I think what I'm going to do at the minute is I'm going to work out which resistor is meant to be in place of this. And swap them over and we'll see how we get on. Okay. D3 and R10 swapped over. Let's see what happens. Yeah, well that looks better. There's no time reset left. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Yay! Now it works! Dialed there being in the wrong place, and R10 being in the wrong place, the effect you were getting. Come on, camera, focus. The effect of this is terrible today. I do apologize for this. This is horrible. This focus, something not right. It's been like this ever since my phone updated. There we go, at last. D3 and R10 being reversed meant that R10 was in position where there should have been a blocking diode. So, the emitter of this was permanently tied to 5 volt. It could, it should have been sitting at a low. Because all that does is connect, well, it connects ground to ground. And allows the thing to reset. Working now. Uh, I think I need a long cup of tea after that one. This is a good point though, fellas. When you're working on one of these cards, check that all of these are in the right places. Maybe take a, a still of this one or a photograph of a known working one and compare them because without a couple of other cards to repair, I would never have found that. I think it's about time to draw a schematic for this as well, since I'm getting to know it intimately. I know how this addressing data bus works, I know how the clock works, I know what all these transistors do now. I've near enough got a schematic in my head. Uh, pay no attention to the dullness of the CPU socket, it's actually a new one. So, yeah, but it's what, two and a half minutes long, running, there we go. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do anything with it, there's two left to look at. Yeah, there's this one, and you can see what the problem is probably with this one. And where's the other one? Um, uh, there's this one. I don't think I need to do it in the focus of this. Uh, and this one's been scrapped for parts because it's just. Well, it's just dead. Think I might try changing all those wireless out. I might put a new edge connector on this one and just keep it as a well, just keep it as a spare relay. Really. As per usual, I'm going to put this this processor here on the other impact board of well just to make sure it runs. Confident it will. Ram voltages are fine. Ram resistance with power off is away up in the mega ohm range. There's no 80 ohms or anything run across anywhere, so yeah, it's fine. And spent a little bit of surface corrosion on the top. The back of it's actually pretty good. I mean, there are some wire links on it as usual. That's wire links from the previous owner. I'm just going to leave them on. They're doing no harm. They're not going to press into anything. 
for doing the job. And so, uh, bye for now.